So here, it is currently 48 degrees outside, and let me just tell you this riot now. Oh, what the heck. So I know 48 degrees may not be cold for you guys, but 48 degrees here in Texas is like below freezing. But anyways, I am about to head to the gym and go work out with Arlen. If you guys have watched putting a 17 year old through my booty workout, then you guys know exactly who Arlen is. If you guys haven't checked it out, I'll have it like right here and then linked down below so you guys can check it out if you guys all want to. If you're just as excited as me to go work out, then keep on watching. And if you're not excited, then you should keep on watching because you may end up being excited later on throughout the video. So anyways, I'll see you guys in like... Three, two, one. So I'm here, and literally, no, where is everybody at? Arland is running late, but I'm about to connect my phone so we can listen to musica. One hour later. How was your nap? It was really good. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. How ready? Really ready. Okay. I have 12 hours of sleep. <laughs> I think that's enough, right? Yeah. Okay, let's get started. What is going on, guys? It has been a hot minute since I've done a voiceover on one of my back workouts. So I really hope you're ready for this. So to start off, we did lap pull downs, superset with a lap push down. We did four sets of each for our both exercises. Now for the lap pull downs, we started with moderate weight just because we wanted to get 20 reps because this was kind of like our warm up. So your first rounds, you'll go ahead and do 20 reps. And I kid you not, my lats were so pumped after just that one set. But for each set, you'll go ahead and increase the weight and then you're gonna decrease the reps. So for your second set, you'll do 15 reps. Third set, you'll do 12 reps. And fourth set, you'll do 10. Now for the pushdowns with either a rope or a straight bar, you'll select a weight that isn't too, too easy, but also not too, too challenging because these do get super challenging after like your second set because it gets heavier as you go on. I promise it, it got pretty heavy like by the second or third set. I was like, holy cow. But you want to make sure you get 20 repetitions for these pushdowns. And if you're on your, let's say, your third set or your last set and you only get like 11 or 15 repetitions, then go ahead and drop the weight and then finish the rest until you get a total of 20. <gasps> okay, so can we just take like a quick moment just to look at his back muscles? Like how he's been lifting for what two years so ever since he was 15 which it just like amazes me like I honestly wish I could have started working out at that age but I didn't start working out until my senior year and I was 18 years old when I first started so I mean it's still pretty young but 15 holy moly Anywho, as you see, we're doing this seated rows and we superset that with a bent over row with the barbell. I know, I know, there's a lot of rows going on here, but I really love this superset and you guys must try it. So for the seated rows, we did a total of four sets and we did 20, 20, 15, 15. So 20 reps for the first two and then 15 for the last two. Then you'll get up, you're gonna grab a semi-heavy barbell and then you're gonna perform these bent over rows for a total of 10 to 15 repetitions. So even if you get like 12 reps for like the first set and then like 15 for the last set somehow, that is totally fine. Just try to get in between 10 to 15 repetitions for this. So I guess I'm the only one who does this because Arland has never seen nor done this exercise before, but I call these the lat 
stretcher because you're getting that really nice stretch in your lats like we want and then that really nice squeeze when you come back it honestly feels amazing now make sure you grab the close grip v-bar attachment because we will be supersetting it with something else and so after you're done doing that for a total of 20 repetitions you're going to bump up the weight a little bit more and then you're going to perform the close grip pull downs as you guys see and you are also going to be doing 20 reps for these as well now i will tell you this right now um these will burn your lats your middle back and your biceps so <laughs> have fun with this one A little bit of isolation work going on here. Here we have the single arm dumbbell row, but I like to call these lawn mowers because, uh, I mean, it kind of looks like you're turning the lawn mower on, right? <laughs> Anyways, we did three sets of 10 to 12 reps on each side. Now, I started with the weight I could normally rep out, but this was towards the end of the workout, and I only got eight with the 45 pound weight, so I had to bump it down just a notch just so I could get 10 to 12 repetitions so if that's something that happens to you guys and you use like a I don't know 80 pound weight and it's super super heavy to where you're like struggling and not really like focusing on stretching coming back and squeezing then please put your ego to the side grab a lighter dumbbell and make sure you get 10 to 12 repetitions Last but not least, I wanted to end off with a little finisher and go into failure. So I chose to do some pull-ups because I know a lot of people usually start off with pull-ups, but I usually like to end off with pull-ups. Now you could either hop on the assistant machine like I did or perform them on your own and go into failure. And at this point, your back should literally like be done because I know mine was for sure. We did this workout yesterday and I am so sore. Like I can barely lift up my arms. Like my lats are just crazy, crazy sore, which I'm actually happy and glad because that just means I went hard at the gym and on my back day, so yay! But that is all, folks. I really, 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 really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Be on the lookout for another voiceover that I have coming for you next week. I know you're going to love it. So, okay, that's it. I love you guys, and I'll see your gorgeous self in the next one. Bye!